Saved by the light of day, it was obvious that I was nowhere near as strong as I needed to be to face off against the Demon King. It was time to take my role as a Hashira serious. To start off, I figured since I'm taking my role as a Hashira serious, I should at least look the part. Now that I had appearances sorted out, I wanted to look for ingredients for an enchantment table. Unbeknownst to me, I was about to strike gold, literally. I had dug straight into an underground cavern, full of resources, and apparently other demon slayers. And some weird turtle thingy. That's kind of friendly, at least as long as you don't attack it. Of course, first order of business wasn't to just jump all over the resources and then mining them. First order of business was to secure the area, then mine the resources. Lucky for me, there weren't any of demons down here, and as for enemies, nothing I couldn't deal with. Okay guys, so I think I got the most of the stuff I need for an enchantment table, I'll deal with the diamond later, not now. I kinda just... now I kinda wanna build a house. And I kinda wanna go back to the village I uh, found earlier, and also stole some apples to get my golden apples, but you know what, meh. So um, yeah, I kinda wanna go and build a house. There we are. There we are. Still takes some fall damage. Anyways. Oh, there's Lady Tamayo house as well. Ooh, I can be next next door neighbor to Tamayo. And Yoshiro. Maybe maybe right here-ish. I immediately began clearing out the land and flattening it. After which I started gathering resources. Because Demon Slayer takes place in Japan, I wanted to build a traditional Japanese house. Or at least one that resembles one. I'm no professional builder.
Like I just said, I am no professional builder. However, be that as it may, I am rather satisfied with the end results. Now I just need to place down my bed and this will be officially my home. Also, um, isn't there like this traditional thing that uh, the Japanese sleep on the floor? Not today probably, but in the olden day. Uh, this is probably more in the floor rather than on the floor, but um, close enough. I should have made the floor out of slab. Ah, whatever. I'm breaking, really? I mean... The durability on these swords are kind of already OP. Uh, I mean, the, wait, shouldn't there be a blacksmith? Ooh, the blacksmith might have a um, grindstone. I can use that. Excuse me, sir. I need to use your grindstone. Nobody will ever find this. Your neighbors might start asking about you, but... Oh, see, we already got your replacement. Well, I'ma take this and I'll immediately make you jobless. Nothing personal. Of course, getting my desired enchantments or anything but easy. Don't want that, no. Don't want that either. Really? Do I really have to set up a villager trading post? I mean... Ugh. I am probably not gonna get my enchantment if I continue as this. Ugh, it's gonna take so much work though. Ah, this is going nowhere. BRB! Okay, so it took some time, and a lot of sticks, and some bodies, but I finally have what I desire. Or at the very least, what I need. Though, um, I had to add some doors because the zombies didn't want to leave my villagers alone, so that's something, I guess. Anyways, also, I figured out that I can combine the books and make even stronger enchantments, of course, at the cost of higher levels, which kind of forces me to go out and beat some demons and... Well, I do usually kill them, so not always easy. In any case, um, if I want my uh, red sword level 5 enchantments book, then... Oh yeah, I did say it did take a lot of bodies, or a few. To get my desired enchantment, I needed to level up. I needed more XP. Unfortunately, I have yet to locate any mob spawner. So, to get the XP, I had to go the old-fashioned route. Fortunately, I had grown so strong that normal demons or even lower moons weren't a match for me. The stronger demons I kill, the more EXP I would receive. Experience that I could use for enchantments. Enchantment that would make me stronger. And this was something I needed. For on the way to the village was a danger. One that would test my abilities. Up in one five. Oh, stop slapping me with your fish. At least I got the uh, 
stone hush right here. Activating my demon slayer mode. Ah, this is going to be a long night. They have taken by the divine. Have they been for Shoot, they are so fast. Can I break? Hell will await them. Become a demon was a choice. A decision made by them. Oh, how could you allow this? There's no peace to be found at the end of it. Less rain after drought. Also, why is the thing in Japanese? I gotta change that. Whoops. Did I just kill him by accident? I had indeed killed him by accident. Good job, me. Hold on, so um, I killed the uh, stone Hashira. Doesn't that make me the strongest Hashira? I don't like this sound. I'm kind of familiar. Oh, stop it with those fishes. Why I do you use poison? I thought that was Yutero thing. Stop with the poison. Aw oh, man. Am I even going... Am I even doing anything to... Ooh, ooh. Go that oh shoot. Get out of here. Ah, oh, this is going nowhere. I struggled and struggled, and when I thought that I did nothing to him, it finally happened. I broke his pot. Stop jumping around! I can do that too! Oh, now I really want uh, a Thunder Bleeding Sword. Stop jumping around! Just die already! Oh, freaking finally! The words of the moon, as in, in terms of appearance, finally dead. Upper Moon 5 was finally dead. Even though I did receive some help from the Stone Hashira at the cause of his death, this kill helped me confirm one thing. I can now fend off Upper Moons. Unfortunately for me, there was no time for me to rest. Gyoko wasn't the only Upper Moon who was sent by Musan. They probably heard that Lady Tamayo was residing in this village. This guy is loud. It's just ringing in my ears. I would turn it down, but if I'm forced to be deaf, then you're gonna have to be too. Constant flux. Oh. Hey, did you just kill a horse? I get it, but what a waste. Oh shoot. So loud. So, do, do, get out of it, get out of it. I got the high ground now. Oh, you got the range attack. Go, Len. Don't do it. Oh, well. Great distance and then heal. I'm 
coming out of golden apples. You were definitely the loudest uh, upper moon I had to deal with. Hopefully the rest of your kin aren't that loud, cause hot dang. Also, if any of you guys got uh, death because of this, then meh. Twenty-nine golden apples. Not too bad, but could have been better. So uh, I need support. Uh, I need help. I need more gold. I need more uh, apples. Maybe there's more uh, at the master's place. Yeah. After enchanting my gear and taking what resources I had, I set out to find the master's house. During this trip, I imagined just what type of support I would receive. Unfortunately, what was awaiting me was nothing more than horror. Why is there a moose on health bar? The heck? No. Don't tell me. Oh. Michael Jackson himself. This isn't the master's house. Where is master? But never mind that. Water breathing. Tenth floor. Constant flux. The frick? The hell was that? The heck is this? Ah, oh, such a moose thing to do. 